hello everyone welcome to my channel i hope you're all <clears throat> doing well so today we are going to make some vanilla cupcakes so just get started in a medium sized bowl we are going to add half a cup of butter or margarine or cooking oil it will still work but i prefer margarine or butter and three quarters of a cup of sugar so you can use any type of sugar that you ha have at hand but I prefer caster sugar in my cakes. But since I don't have some right now, I'm just using the normal, the normal sugar that we use in Kenya, the granulated one. So give that a good whisk and add in two large eggs, beat one by one, in beating well with each incorporation. So here I'm alternating some flour and buttermilk. So I've sifted my flour and my baking powder and i've added it to the flour those are the dry ingredients for today and just alternate with some with some milk buttermilk i'll show you in a separate video to make it at your at the comfort of your own home it's just two ingredients and it it can be used in anything that you want that the recipe requires for buttermilk you can use it in cakes in pudding in pancakes in anything so alternative this will help it be fluffy and smooth and don't forget to scrape down the side of the bottom as needed so i'm just going in with my rubber spatula you can also use a a spoon but don't over mix you can use a muiko it will still give you the perfect results what i like with a rubber spatula is, is that mine is silicone so it will last longer it helps me incorporate all the ingredients together and it's quite helpful and it's easy to clean too i bought mine at kamkunji market at 300 shillings you can buy it anywhere in kenya i think in top serve they have that's why i buy my baking ingredients yeah so i've added a small pinch of salt to to leaven up the sugar to bring out that delicious cupcake feeling that rustic feeling so here i'm just adding a, a few drops of the remaining buttermilk and some vanilla that i had in my eggs i forgot to tell you you, you should add some vanilla extract to your eggs i believe that extract is better than essence because it's not artificial like essence but some use vanilla flavor some use vanilla paste anything that you have at handy will work but i really prefer the vanilla extract the dark one so line your cupcake cupcake tin with cupcake cupcake liners sorry you can do this without just grease your pan i was doing that before i got the liners but i bought mine at 250 bob for 100 liners yes so i just added some raisins in half of them and i'm going to bake this in a preheated oven for at 180 degrees for 18 minutes no more than that so enjoy your cupcakes i immediately they are baked remove them from the tin immediately they should not continue cooking in the tin like a cake a cake may, may cool in the tin for 10 minutes but these ones should be removed immediately the part of the liners are, the top of the liners are not that hot but if you, are, if you don't have them you can just use a spoon yes and enjoy your beautiful cupcakes one thing to note here you can i never i didn't frost my cupcakes but you can so you can see how fluffy they are they're so airy they're so delicious they're perfect they're so buttery that's what i like so yeah enjoy. don't forget